Hello there, lads and lassies. Welcome to Teacup. I'd just like to say thank you to the developers for sending me this. I don't want to ask just now. Developers just seem to think that I've maybe played too many, I don't know, horror games or something, so they keep sending me really cute ones. I'm just going to go with it, you know? I seem to enjoy it, so, um, yeah, let's see. So, we're just going to start the game now. Um, let's see what this is about, shall we? It's already very adorable. Meet Teacup, a frog who loves tea. Hmm. <gasps> oh no! Oh dear! Well, I think I see what the problem is. It's spring! I just got a day or two until the next tea party. Oh no! Well, and thus began Teacup's journey for tea. Hmm. Well, we've all had that issue really, haven't we? We've all been to that point. Okay, so it's, uh, okay, right, so, movement, interact, sprint. I thought it was a point-and-click adventure. I've been using a mouse the whole time, so let's try this. A present from your grandmother. Okay. What else do we have here? Hmm, isn't something missing? Hmm, okay, so I'm guessing we've got to find the key somewhere. Where'd key be? I don't know. But it will be somewhere. Okay, this tea encyclopedia will be useful. This button to open and close the encyclopedia. While it's open, you can browse by pressing in the left or right direction. Oh look, there's something under the book. Hi Teacup. I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline, practicing like crazy for our performance at the Kite Festival. We're pretty nervous, but I think it's going to be great. The boys were very excited too, but I hope none of them has forgotten that it's this Saturday. It's been so long since the last time we all got together. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Adele. Whoops. Should have opened this letter earlier. We probably should have. So, there we go. So, tea party essentials. So, we got basics honey, ginger, lemon for penna, lemon balm, rebus, re, rebus? I don't know what that is, uh, chamomile, mint, rose hip, jasmine, hibiscus, and cookies. Okay, so we've got some basic teas here. Uh, we can have a look at this properly when you buy the game for yourself. So this is a quick look video, by the way, for those of you who don't know what my quick look videos are like. I play a few minutes of the game just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like, see if you like it or not. And if I get enough views on it, then I will probably continue with it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's just leave the area and go to the next section. What do we have here? Very colourful. It's weird to be outside. It is weird to be outside. No new letters. Okay. It's a very colourful game. It's very nice, actually. Um, quite relaxing, quite peaceful. Private letters. Yes, we shouldn't really read other people's mail. Let's have a chat to the elder. Oh. Why? Hello, Teacup. I haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help you with something? Mm. Mm. I see. A quest for tea. An adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Uh -huh. Well, today's your lucky day, Teacup. What a coincidence. I was just about to throw away this map. Oh, that's lovely. We got a nice map. It used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. Hmm. 
It was a gift, back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you about it some other day. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. Looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. Oh, well, isn't that lovely? Okay, I'm quite interested to see what what the, the story is behind that. Oh, this leads to Otto's house. Okay, so moving on. Right, so we're at the West Rest. There is our house over there. A pond in the market. So the place we're living in is called Little Pond. Let's go and check out the pond. Okay, we've got a sign here. Um, I don't know what that is on the left, but on the right it looks like some sort of a lighthouse. So we're going to go that way. The path ends here and this part of the map is faded out. Oh, well, I haven't been there yet. Okay, so we're going to go to the left, maybe? Yes, yes, we are. Okay, we've got a little bridge here. Oh, there's another frog in the water. Who designed this? It's pretty wobbly. Well, you should stand on it so you should know if it's wobbly or not. Be careful, honey. The water here is deep. I'm not going to get into the logistics of uh, that particular sentence from an amphibious creature. Okay, anyway, what do we have here? Whoa. Oh, hello there, little froggy. You lost. <laughs> My name is Salamandro. I'm the strongest, fastest swimmer around. Ha ha! You want to race to the other side? It's indeed a nice day to be swimming. What's with the book? You want to race or not? I'll give you a head start. <laughs> You don't want to? Well, I guess I'll see you around. Okay. <laughs> Salamandro. Who do we have here? Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. Be fabulous. Was well, that not interesting? Okay. So we can't go any further than that. So we're going to have to continue our search for um, stuff to make tea with as we go along. So, nothing really worth getting over that way. Noisy people outside, with their noisy, noisy cars, yes. Okay. So, okay, the part of the map shaded it. We can't go that way at all. Right, so we're gonna go to the market this time. Because, you know, this is somewhere that we might be able to find some stuff. Oh, we've got a horse there, okay. Terencio. I find baskets to be quite comforting. Okay. Uh, a bunny there. How exciting. The anniversary celebration will soon start. Yes, yes, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Fresh potatoes. wonder if they're freshly dug. Hmm. Malcolm. Hello, little frog. Teacup. Well, hello, teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Then, I go for nothing, badgers, veggies, or nothing on mine. Huh. Well. What do we have here? Carrots? Okay, these fruit look delicious. It's not carrots then. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know much about tea. You can put sugar in them. Might I try it sometime? Okay. I'm just going to check these veg here. Maybe these jams would taste good with toast and tea. Perhaps. You never know. They seem harmless enough. Hello. Buy some mushrooms and I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. Oh, well, those, let's say, between 80 and 100. 95% sure they're not. Maybe 90. Okay. There's a lot of people from the neighbouring towns. Oh, well, there is, yes. Okay, well, let's talk to the badger. Let's... Mm. Oh, Ren, okay. Oh, I should have put some water. Oh. Tika, is that you? Unbelievable, darling. I thought I'd seen a mirage. Uh -huh. Come again. Tea. 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 It's always about tea. I, I know, dear. But you need fruits and veggies, too. What can I help you with? 
You ran out of tea? Impossible. Well, that's one lovely book. Do you want me to look at it? Mm. Mm, I don't know these herbs except this one. Mint. I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. Mm. It's just so hot outside today, I can't move. But I need to organise my stand. Would you do that for poor old me, dear? I'll get some water in the meantime. I'm just parched. Right, okay, so we're going to organise our stand here. So, uh, drag the pieces inside the stall and fit them all in. Select the pieces and rotate them. So we've got a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a, a thing we're going on here. Let's see, where's my mouse? Okay, mouse is better for this. Let's see. Okay. Now we can go there. This can go here. How about this one up here? And this one can rotate and go here, like so. It's that one. Hmm. Yes, this way. This way looks perfect. Except it's not. <sighs> well, this is a tricky puzzle. Hmm. Let's try this. there. Wow. I'm not very good at organizing, am I? No. No. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So, if I put this one here, and this one, No, no, maybe. Okay, question mark. I'm, I'm not in a, a very sort of a puzzly way right now. Okay. Maybe this one would go here. No. Here? No. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, that one goes there. Aha! I think I have it, by Jove. There we go. <laughs> Why do I suck so much at puzzles like that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, mm. thank you, Teacup. I'm sorry. Thank you, Tika. My stand has never looked this good before. That's okay, mm. Ren. Yeah, now that you say so, the boxes are kind of oddly shaped. I saw Salamandra the other day with some, some of that herb you need. Go and ask him, you should be by the pond. Alright, so we'll go to the pond. We'll go back and see Salamandra. Do 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 do. Do we know where Salamandra is? Go back over to the pond, go and see Salamandro. Perfect. Alright, Salamandro, we've met you already, so... <laughs> I forgot what Salamandro's voice was. Hello again, little froggy. You want to rest now? Hmm. <laughs> the old crony sent you. What are you looking for? I do have some of that mint in my garden. <laughs> I'll give you some if you beat me in racing the lake. <laughs> Must warn you, I doubt you could beat me. Okay, well. 
Okay, so Salamandro challenged you to a race in the lagoon. Press the sequence of directions below, teacup to swim faster, and take the lead. Okay. Okay, we got this. Yep. Okay, so we're doing this quite well. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, no! We did the wrong one. Yay! We did that like that time. Okay. It's wondered if there's any penalties, that's why I pressed the wrong one. But there's, there's not. Just a little bit of time taken off it. Okay. Hey, I think we made it. We made it and we're going to get the mint. Possibly. Oh, oh, oh. well done, little froggy. I have to admit I'm a bit sad because I was swimming all afternoon, but the victory is a victory. <laughs> You've quite some talent. Have you considered swimming professionally? Hmm. I would rather stay at home, I see. Okay. Well, visit me sometime and I'll give you some mint. I live in a meadow to the north of this pond. Right, well, yes, we're going to go and get some mint and stuff like that. Okay. That kid's still in the water. Okay, the meadow. So the meadow's right there. So, I mean, so far, so cute. It's a, a nice drawing style. I like the artwork in it. It's very chill. I think it's just one of those games that if you're going to play it, you're, you're going to, I don't know, you're going to enjoy it regardless of, uh, you know, your sort of age group, etc. I don't know. I mean, if you just want a relaxing game, I would say uh, Teacup is one of those games that you could just sit and just play. Yeah. Um... Ah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you beat me back to your house. Yeah, that was not pre-scripted or anything. Anyway, so yes, bear, bear with me one second. Um, so, this is Teacup. Um, again, a very cute game, not really my, my forte, but I do enjoy a relaxing game from time to time, especially point-and-click adventures. This reminds me of when I was very young and we play games um, like Granny's Garden, things like that. Uh, obviously, you know, this has got better graphics and better gameplay and better music and better scripting and, well, it's overall generally better than what I used to play when I was very, very young. But the, the idea behind it's the same. It's just something that you could chill with. If you've got um, kids of your own, you could sit and play this with them. Or if you just want to play it for yourself and enjoy the, the whimsical ambiance then there you have it anyway this is available on steam and other uh, devices as well but i'll put the steam link in for you so you can check it out over there and um anywhere else you know just obviously type it into your search bar so anyway i'm off for now but thank you so much for watching thank you again to the developers for sending me the game and uh yeah catch you later Bye bye